Hello guys and welcome back to Arc One Welding. In today's video, I have a treat for you lot. We are testing out spider clamps. So over here, I have my assortment of a bunch of different spider clamps and I'm gonna be using it to hang two flanges on this piece here. So what have I done? I've done my butt welds here. I've tacked on my sockets. I've got two more butt welds left to do, but at this point here, I can put my two flanges on and I'm gonna quickly run through on the drawing exactly how I get the measurements and then most importantly, how these spider clamps can benefit you and me in hanging these flanges on. So quickly, briefly, these are tag spider clamps. Now they are not sponsoring this video, but tagged if you are watching this and you want to sponsor me in anything in the future hit me up on my instagram but that being said i've only got good things to say about these anyway and i always want to show you a lot of things that i use to make my job easier so let's get this started Right here, I have one of them in my hands. This here, I believe goes as small as four inch and it goes up to around six or eight inch. I'm not too sure. I've got an assortment of enough of them to go up to about 14 inch, so I'm all good there. And yeah, it works simply like this. These are two separate parts and they open and close in order to clamp the pipe on the inside. So this part here will clamp the inside of the pipe and this part here will clamp um, the flange for example um, you adjust this end here and then the outside and the furthest one expands or contracts if you can see that and then you adjust this one here and this one here expands now they're both equal size if you can see that but i can hear what you're saying what about elbows well they've got that covered this one here wait let me stop the video right here i was so wrong at this point so these spider clamps i found in my bay i didn't know how they got there i just assumed there was for the elbows but later on while doing a bit of research i saw the one for the elbows this here off the top of my head, there's only a few uses I could imagine it for, um, such as um, internal bore to internal bore, putting on little slivers of pipe onto the end of another pipe, um, hanging tafts on stainless steel pipe. There isn't much that I can kind of think of what you would use this for, but I'm sure it has its um, purpose for these guys to make it. Um, I'll show you a photo here. This here is what the elbow version looks like. The one I've got in my hand, no clue what specifically you would use that for. But I'm sure it has its uses. And here is my small one. Again, adjust it all the way closed. And this here can go into maybe 2 inch. I'm not too sure, but you might be able to get this into 2 inch. And then the second adjustment, you can see it growing even more on this one here. And this looks like it goes up to four inch. For me, don't ever borrow your tools out. Someone has used this and they have bent the thread at the top. So that means there that by the time I'm clamping it down on four inch, the thread's so tight because, the, because it's been bent, that it's a real struggle to, um, to tighten it. But you can see just how it grows. So I've just leveled off the pipe, now I need to know how far the flanges stick out. 
So from the centre to the face is 500 mil. So what I'm going to do, 500 minus 82 mil, which is half of the diameter of the six inch pipe. Now I'm going to measure the rest. 400 minus 400, so that's 18 mil. First side slides in, grab the flange. Now there's two ways you can use this for weld nets. So you bring the weld neck all the way along. And just adjust it as simple as that. You can hold your gap. You can also adjust ever so slightly with a bit of play on it so you can hold it to the side to level off the bolt holes you can use your spacer put your spacer on top to get your gap tighten it up and it's mostly level when you first put it on should be touching the back yep and then now in theory, as long as your bolt holes are good, you can put your tack on the top, reach underneath and tack the bottom, and this side here is done. But I am going to be putting on, not a weld neck, but a slip-on flange. There we go, that's where this little notch here comes into its own. That notch sits on your um, face of your flange. I'm sitting here in post-production just editing this video together and what I notice, them little um, tabs that I sit the flange on, I never knew that they had such an important um, job. So basically, they allow you to control the maximum limits the flange can move out. So right now, I can rotate it through 360 degrees rotation. Once I tighten up the internal clamp holding the spider clamp to the pipe, as long as I pull the flange out, as far as it can go so it's maintaining contact with them three tabs I can make sure that I can um, adjust the bolt hole so the, the it's two holes tops level while making sure that the measurement from center to face of the flange doesn't move I never noticed that before I was just like a bit delicate trying to get the measurement and moving the hole of the spider clamp it is on it sits out 18 mil if you can see that so the measurement, the center to face measurement is bang on. And then the level on top. If you can see, it's ever so slightly to one side. That's why the adjustment with your hand, if it focuses, you can adjust it with your hand ever so slightly. And now you can put a tack on it. And it is done. Personally, I do not use this method here because it, it takes a lot more, it takes a, a lot longer than um, my technique. What I do use it for, always for weld necks, it always gets the center of them lined up perfectly. There is one exception that I use this spider clamp on and that is on shed 20 pipe. Standard weight seamless pipe on the left and shed 20 pipe on the right. Sometimes if the wrong flanges get ordered, your left you are left with a crazy big gap. So here's this flange. And you are left with a massive gap. You're left with a nearly nearly 10 mil gap. So in order to um, get the flange sitting nice and perfectly in the center, I will use the spider clamp technique. Save a lot of time. Now I'm going to quickly have a test to see which way is faster, my way or the spider clamp way.
this is my tried and true tested method of hanging flanges so I use my um, steel rule to pull the flange at 18 mil and then I mark the back of it with a chalk that way there I know the line I have to line the flange to and I don't get distracted um, trying to guess an imaginary position the flange needs to go to because they can move quite a bit while trying to hang them so I use my bolt holes get two hole top try to get it level as level as I can now I'm using a straight edge to make sure the two flanges are aligned earlier you see me use a flange square just to test just to roughly get the first flange square so now I can line up the two of the flanges tack the top and then obviously level off the face of the flange tack the bottom and then just like that this way is faster than using the spider clamp and I had to align this flange to the flange to the right now I could have went overkill and made sure the two bolt holes were completely aligned for it to each other but that weren't necessary it's more important to make sure the two flanges line up flat to each other so when the person's checking it and they put a level across the face of the flange it's more obvious that the two flanges don't line up rather than the bolt holes not lining up Now you lot can be the judge of what way you prefer, what you find easier, but either way, I am happy with how this came out. Center to center measurement, wait, we ain't done yet, let's check, 260 times 2, always use a calculator even if you know, you don't want to make a mistake over a simple um, calculation you done wrong, 520. Two mil. Two mil longer. I'm happy with that, with intolerance. Now guys, this was a quick one here. I just wanted to show you a piece of equipment, in my opinion, is worth its weight in gold. Or maybe not that far. Now, I am glad I have this. I don't know personally if I would have forked out the money myself to buy it, just because I'm tight. But if your company can get it for you, if, if you are struggling, do get something like this for me I learned the hard way without this this came later on in my career which is why I can appreciate it a little bit differently but I'm, I am happy I've got them in all different sizes like I said before on all weld necks I use it for all of them slip on flanges only on the only on the shed 20 pipe only on the shed 20 pipe with the big flanges do I use this but it is it it's got its place, it's got its place. And if you lot can find um, a use for it, you'll be happy with it. But with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you lot in the next one.